Good morning, Overall Middle School students. This is Mr. Woolley. Remember, the information contained in this video is intended to be viewed only by the students in Mr. Woolley's classroom. By watching the video, you'll agree that you will not record or share the video with anyone who is not a student in Mr. Woolley's classroom. All right, today we're working on graphing their solutions to inequalities. We're going to have some word problems today, and we'll get some inequalities built and solved and see what they mean. But just remember, just a review of yesterday's stuff from graphing. If you're trying to graph m is greater than 10, it does not include 10 itself, so you have an empty circle on the 10, and move to the right because it's bigger than 10. Q is less than or equal to 64. You actually darken in the circle here, you fill it in, because it includes 64, that's what the equals to means, and anything less than that, so your arrow's moving to the left. And G is less than negative 5. Well, it's an empty circle because it does not include negative 5 and arrows anything to the left of that. V is greater than or equal to 0. So 0 actually counts because they have the bar underneath. So I fill it in, darken it in, and anything greater than 0, move there. Now, when you have situations like this, like 29 is greater than K, and the K is on this side, you can put the K on the left side, but remember that arrow kind of points to the K. And the arrow points to the k here, so k is less than 29. It still wants to eat the 29 just like it does here. So because there's no bar underneath, it's an empty circle, and k is anything less than 29 moving that way. All right, here we go. Two identical cars need to fit in a small garage. The opening is 23 feet 6 inches wide, and there must be at least 3 feet 6 inches of clearance between the cars and the edges of the, between the, edges of the garage. How wide can the cars be? Now, 23 feet 6 inches, it really is like 23 and a half feet, or what we know is 23.5 feet. So the whole distance is 23.5, and they want some 3.5 foot or 3.5 foot spaces between the cars and then the walls. So the car, I don't know how big they are, but we're going to call that x. All right, so I have two x's plus all those 3.5s, giving me 2x plus 10.5 has to be less than or equal to 23.5. And it can be smaller, it can be equal to it, it just can't be bigger because there's no more room in the garage. So we solve it just like we would a normal equation. And x is less than or equal to 6.5, so it means the cars must be 6.5 feet wide or less. Next up, our next example. A local car dealership is trying to sell all the cars that are on the lot. Currently, there are 525 cars in the lot, and the general manager estimates they'll consistently sell 50 cars per week. Estimate how many weeks will it take for the number of cars in the lot to be less than 75. There are an inequality that can be used to find the number of full weeks, w, it will take for the number of cars to be less than 75. Since W is the number of full, of, of full of complete weeks, W equals 1 means the end of work week 1. All right, so we're going to solve it and graph it. So we got 525, and we're going to take away or sell 50 cars per week, so minus 50W. Now we have to get this number, our total of cars here, has to be less than 75, because we want to be less than 75. So what I did is I took away the 525 first, and put minus some negatives over here, but that's okay. Now I still got this negative 50W just hanging out here. And I got a negative 450 here. So instead of negative 50 times W, I'm going to divide by negative 50. But remember, when you divide each side by that negative like that, you're going to have to switch the sign. So now the W is greater than 9. So anything more than 9 weeks, here's my circle there, and greater than 9, it's going to get me down there. And the dealership will need to sell cars at that rate for more than 9 weeks to have less than 75 cars in a lot. Why is it more than 9? Well, because if you actually substitute a 9 in here, 525 minus 50 times 9, you get 75. And that's not less than 75. It's equal to. If you sell cars for 10 weeks, it's 525 minus 50 times 10. 525 minus 500 gives you 25, and 25 is less than 75. So that's why it's got to be more than 9 weeks. So 10 weeks and more works. All right, next up, the cost of running a car is $25 per day plus a one-time fee of $75.50 for insurance. How many days can the car be rented if the total cost is to be no more than $525? So it can be $525 or less, but just not more than that. So we'll use D for days renting. So $25 times however many days plus that $75.50 fee. We want that to be less than or equal to $525. So solve it just like a normal equation. We get D is less than or equal to 17.98. So if I graph it, it's a dark and in bubble because it had the equal to part of it and anything less than that. So I can't use an 18, it's got to be 17. So the car can be rented for up to 17 days in order to be not more than 525. Notice how the line never made it to the 18, so I can't use it. It has to be less than or equal to 17.98. Well, I can't rent 0.98 of a uh, day's worth of car, so I have to go back to this day. So that's the max days I can use. Next up. We're going to kind of do the same thing here, write, solve, graph the inequalities, interpret the solution, and so on. 
Mrs. Smith decides to buy three sweaters and a pair of jeans. She has $120 in her wallet. The price of the jeans is $35. What's the highest possible price of the sweater if the, each sweater is the same price? So we're going to use S for sweaters. So we got three sweaters plus 35, that's what it costs for the jeans, it has to be less than or equal to 120. All right? So solve it just like a normal equation, and you get S is less than or equal to $28.33. So the sweaters must be no more than $28.33. Or it can be less than or equal to. So that's the max amount of money you can pay, or the sweater cost can be less than that. So, well, approximately $28.33, well, it's less than $28.50. That's an easy spot to mark. So you're right around here somewhere. And you fill in the bubble, and anything less than that will work. Next up, the three members of the select chorus agree to buy at least 250 tickets for an outside concert. They buy 20 fewer, 20 fewer lawn tickets than balcony tickets. What's the least number of balcony tickets bought? Well, balcony is going to be X because I don't know anything about them. And the lawn tickets, it's whatever the balcony is, minus 20 because there's 20 fewer of the lawn tickets. Now, all that can be greater than or equal to 250 because it has at least 250 tickets. So you can be equal to that or more. So that's why it's like that. So on my x's, I get 2x, and the regular number is just a minus 20. So 2x minus 20, greater than or equal to 250. Let's solve it like a normal equation. We add 20 to each side, divide by 2. x has to be greater than or equal to 135. So you can buy at least 135 tickets for the balcony. And balcony was my x, and that's what I'm looking for here, is the x. So there we go. And to graph that, 135, you darken it in and move to the right. So you can have equal to or greater than that. All right, one more example for you. Samuel needs $29 to download some songs and movies on his MP3 player. His mother agrees to pay him $6 an hour for raking leaves in addition to his $5 weekly allowance. What's the minimum number of hours Samuel must work in one week to have enough money to buy the songs and movies? All right, $6 times however many hours he works, plus the $5 he's already got for his allowance. That can be greater than or equal to 29. Because if he makes more than 29, that's great. Or if he makes equal to 29, that's fine too. To solve it like a normal equation, we get h is greater than or equal to 4. So if he works 4 hours or more, he'll have enough money. So if I want to graph that, and darken my circle, and anything more than that will work. So I'm going to move to the right there. All right, and that is it. Now they're in school, there's a practice, and it has a couple questions that feed off of some problems from in here. So um, they're a little bit different than what you see here in the paper, but go ahead and give the practice in school a try. So thanks for watching.